why shouldn't we be proud to see these pictures of india these are the same villages which were once immersed in darkness where childhood passed without education due to lack of light where the eyes used to hurt due to the smoke rising from the chulhas but today our villages are modern there is light in the houses there is greenery in the fields there are satisfied families and there is happiness in the homes along with the prosperity in the villages it is also necessary that we should properly execute the sewage garbage filth etc that are being generated there are about 250 lakh livestock in our country from which about 1200 lakh tons of waste material that is cow dung cake and urine is generated generally cow dung is used as fuel in villages but our farmer brothers are still not able to make full use of it due to which a large part of the animal waste goes into waste along with air pollution these dung also add to the filth and dirt in this filth mosquitoes insects moths and bacteria are born which are very harmful for human and cattle If this cow dung is used in the biogas plants then it will not only be an efficient management of cow dung but it will also become a major source of energy for rural India So it's double benefit for the villagers and the farmers In fact the method of making domestic gas from cow dung through biogas plants is being adopted in our villages for the last several decades This gas is odorless and smokeless. It is also useful in controlling environmental pollution. Biogas is such an alternative to energy that can be used for cooking, lighting, bulbs and many other things. Let us explain to you how cow dung, which is considered wasteful in villages, can be used as a great alternative to energy. Biogas plant is mainly divided into four plants. Adequate amount of water is added to the cow dung and it is poured into the tank through a pipe so that a thick solution of cow dung is made. Digester tank. This tank is mainly made of brick and cement and is underground. There are basically two types of chemical processes in the tank. acid is formed in the first process and methane or biogas is formed in the second process biogas is a combustible substance which after burning produces energy because it is produced by biological processes hence it is called biogas the third part gas holder the gas produced from the digester comes out and gets deposited here from it the gas is carried through the pipeline to the burner of the stove outlet tank and slurry pit after the gas is released from the dung solution the slurry automatically comes out and gets deposited in the slurry pit this gas free cow dung which came out in the form of slurry is very useful for farming this slurry can be dried and used as organic manure in the fields Earthworm manure can be produced from this slurry. So let us know how much biogas can be made from different sources. Dung is one of the major source of methane gas. We can get 60 kg of methane gas from 350 kg of dung. At the same time, up to 65 kg of methane gas can be produced from 440 kg of beet. obtained from poultry apart from this crop residues such as dried leaves are also effective in making methane 
450 kilograms of dry leaves can produce 44 kilograms of methane, while 930 kilograms of wood sawdust can produce 46 kilograms of methane. In view of the utility of natural gas from cow dung and organic waste, the central government along with the state governments has prepared a plan to promote biogas plants and has made arrangements for the grants to be given to farmers who set up biogas plants. The subsidy rates on biogas plants are different in each state. Dairy farmers and goshala operators can produce organic manure along with cow dung gas for biogas plants. There is a provision of giving subsidy to 40 to 60 percent for this work from the state governments. With the help of the government subsidy, farmers can set up biogas plants at their own homes at low costs. Chicken beets and crop waste can also be used in this. Therefore, farmers who keep cattle as well as farmers doing poultry farming can also take advantage of government help for setting up biogas plants. Now let us also tell you about some other benefits of biogas plant. Benefits of biogas plant This gas plant is environment friendly and is very useful for rural areas. This technology also helps in keeping the environment clean. The use of biogas in rural areas will also stop the cutting of trees. Animal dung and leftover crop residue are also being used in the biogas plant for the production of biogas which is supplied from the farmer's own homes. Housewives will get freedom from respiratory diseases caused by smoke emanating from wood and dung chulahas. We also get high quality manure from the biogas plant which is very beneficial for the crops. Now all of you must have understood how important biogas plant is in our rural context. Especially for those farmers who have dairy cattle. Such farmers can increase their income many fold through production of gas from cow dung and organic manure along with milk. The speed with which our villages are becoming modern, the picture of whole of India is changing. So why not keep pace with the changing times? Give impetus to this era of modernity. We can become a smart farmer 